Mondays with Mark Allen. Welcome back. Another Monday. Here we go. Not a lot of racing last weekend, but a lot of discussion going on actually the last couple of weeks about who's the goat in triathlon? Who's the greatest of all time? If you look at performances and you ask that question like in the early 80s, it might have been Dave Scott. He won six Ironman titles in his career. After that, it might have been myself, six Ironman titles, an ITU World Championship in Olympic distance, 1989, greatest endurance athlete of all time, ESPN. What about Paul Newby Frazier, eight-time Ironman World Champion? Natasha Bodman, six-time Ironman Triathlon World Champion. What about Chrissy Wellington, never lost an Ironman in her career, ever? How about Jan Frodeno, current time right now, here we go, Olympic gold medalist in Beijing, winner of uh, Ironman 70.3 World Championships, winner of the Ironman World Championship, has the fastest time in Kona, has the fastest iron distance time ever in history. Certainly, those are some big credentials. But those are performances. What if the GOAT was defined by somebody who inspired you? What if the GOAT was someone who gave you the courage to stop making excuses and to start chasing your biggest dreams? If that's a definition of the GOAT, I want to throw a name out there for you to consider. It's Roderick Sewell. He was born without bones in his lower leg. He was either going to be confined to a wheelchair or they could cut his legs off above the knees and he could wear prosthetics and at least he could walk. His mother made the tough decision, cut off his legs, enable him to walk. She didn't want him to spend his life in a wheelchair. The challenge though was that they didn't have a lot of money. In fact, they didn't have enough money to purchase the prosthetics. So to afford the prosthetics, she had to go on unemployment. She had to quit her job, go on unemployment. They were homeless, but it was worth it so that Roderick could walk. He got his legs and then he wanted to run. Challenge Athletes Foundation stepped in. A lot of connections, a lot of years go by. He does triathlons, he loves them. He goes to the Ironman and crosses the finish line. I was there when he crossed that finish line and you have to understand as you can see, Roderick does not match the very monotone diversity of triathlon. He's black. He grew up without privilege. Triathlon is a sport that costs a lot of money. He crossed that finish line and you could feel the immensity and the sacrifice and the commitment that he had made, that his, that his mother had made to enable him to be able to do that you could feel that he was pulling history across that finish line and doing something that no one had ever, ever done before. Not only as a challenge athlete, but just from his history in his life and who he was and who he is now. For me, that was the most inspiring, the most um, touching, powerful thing that I have ever seen at the Ironman World Championship and since I've been going there since 1982. So if you want to ask my opinion of the GOAT of triathlon, you got it, Roderick. Mondays with Mark Allen. We'll see you next week.